Welcome to the Handmaidens. I never know when we're recording. How are you today? It's rabbit, 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 February 1st. Here we go again. And it's, we're back. We've almost been doing, we have been doing this channel for one year so far. Yeah. Here's my assistant who was with me February 1st last year. That's been Mundo. Mundo Miracle. Anyhow, today we got a uh, interesting crab. We're making candles. Why are we making candles? We're making candles because it is Candlemas Eve. Today is uh, <clears throat> St. Bridget's Day, uh, celebrated in Ireland. It is also in bulk, a pagan holiday, predating Christianity, uh, which kind of lines up with the holiday Candlemas, which is celebrated exactly 40 days after Christmas. Uh, it represents purification. Both holidays, in bulk and Candlemas, use candles. So we're going to make some candles just to kind of commemorate the day. Last year we made some St. Bridget's crosses. Other things you could do is you could bake bread. You could uh, make a St. Bridget's doll, uh, you know, like a corn corn house doll. I'm not really good at that. One of these days I'm going to conquer the beast and figure that one out. Anyhow, but today... We've got all the things you need to make candles. You don't need all this stuff, hardly. Yeah. What you need, you need wax, that you do need. You need some form of a wick. You need a jar to put the candle in or some, some container and um, a way to melt the wax, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you some pointers and some tips and some tricks. We got the brand new Wax Master Melter by Soylight that Mondo got for Christmas. We're gonna try it out. This is its Virgin Ride. Yeah. Speaking of Virgin, the, did I said the, the 40 days after Christmas for Candlemas commemorates the purification of the Virgin Mary. So that's our Virgin Mary right here. Um, I don't know what she was doing to her purification. Maybe she was fasting. Maybe she was abstaining. I don't know. If you know, you know better than me, comments. Let me know because I'm always, I'm into all this stuff. I just want to know all those, that sort of ancient, ancient legends and lore and stuff. I love that. Anyhow, so this guy's preheating over here. Girl, the Virgin is preheating. We have a scale here because we're going to, show a way to kind of make some uniformity. Um, I want to note that this is not a candle making video if you are going into the candle business. That takes a whole lot more preparation, larger supplies, math, labels, this and that. This is candle making for your pleasure, right? We at The Handmaidens want you to have lots of pleasure, okay? We want you to enjoy doing stuff for yourself. It's for utility. It's for, you need a candle, you made a candle. Because guess what's happening this weekend? Ice storm up here in the Northeast. Sometimes with ice storms, we don't have electricity. We need candles. Anyhow, we've got <clears throat> scents. We've got essential oils. We've got wicks. We've got uh, alcohol always cleaning our, our jars. We've got other ways that you can melt stuff. But because to save time, we've got scissors. And to begin with, Mondo, yes. um, I'm gonna, we've got this heated exactly at between warm, exactly between warm and 200. You want your wax to go to, um, go to about 185 degrees. So let's put, let's use this one here. We're using candy thermometers to do that. Here, I'm going to put this in. We've always used the other metal containers in a double boiler method on the stove or on a hot plate. You could use a double boiler method. You can get one of these nifty here, pour that in. So we're using soy wax. There are other forms of wax. There's paraffin wax. There's beeswax. There is, um, there's coconut wax. Uh, once upon a time, all the candles used to be made from animal fat, tallow. 
Oh. Yeah, tallow. That's why they made that. Then they used okay. whale fat. Yeah, and it smelled stinky. Oh. So, so the people, but if you figure they didn't have electricity, they may not yeah. even had gas or oil lamps. They were burning a lots and lots and lots. One of the jobs you did every day was make candles. You needed them for light. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, why am I wearing this hat? Because I made this. This reminds me from following Laura's recent you, uh, YouTube tutorial series. There's five videos so far on how to loom it. I never did it. I'm show. I'm bragging. I'm showing off. I am also starting a scarf. These are perfect cozy, cozy hobbies. Candle making, looming. Should the lights go out and you've got nothing to do this weekend, you want to light a candle and loom by candlelight. Get your supplies. Get ready, right? Okay. How's that look? Let's no, put some more in there. Yeah. Let's not be stingy. But it cool out already. It's already melted. This thing works super de duper de fast. And you're going to need a spoon, my friend. Here, put that in. I got a spoon for you. Use a metal spoon. Stir with metal, pour your wax melts in. If you pour too much in, you don't have to take it out of this handy dandy machine. You can just let it, light it up next time, and away you go. Good to know. Good to know. That's why you're never going to put any, any fragrance in there, and you're not going to put any color in there. Um, yeah. Okay. So our goal is to make, is to make uh, seven candles today. Um, but I got an extra one. Seven candles is what they represent when you're celebrating. They light seven candles and celebrate uh, in bulk. And they use the colors red, white are important. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Sort of like Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Or red, white, and green. Sort of like Christmas. Anyhow, very clever. So if you have, you can use votives if you want. Put them in a bowl. In some sand, go ahead. And uh, wow, that I don't know if you can see in there. That is really I don't already. See. It's almost liquefied already. I don't see anything. No. So, <clears throat> yep. Yeah, only that. It does recommend, but we're not. Do not do as we do. Do as the company says. Wear goggles. Wear. Wear uh, gloves. This is not for children. You can get burnt. The wax is going to 185 degrees. Hot, hot, hot. What do you think? A little more? A little more. We're not going to make a lot, but we don't, it'll already, it'll just be in there for next time. Candle making, maybe. We'll make candles tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? We've got the stuff. Okay, we're going to make candles using jars. There's other ways you can make candles. You can make candles. Uh, which are tapers where you dip the wicks oh, or yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. make them someday cool. yeah they are cool and there's also also ones that you can make uh, using molds here's some here's one I got as a gift from Elisa one time a little house mold here's one made of beeswax which is a uh, little uh, pine cone which I love. Um, I want to. I want to get some molds. Mondo wants molds really bad. Yeah. He's, he's got that on his wish list. I need. We need molds. He says. Molds, molds, molds. What do you think? Any more? We're good. I think we're really good. We're good. Yeah. We're good for now. Okay. So we're going to do that now. I'm using this here. This is a uh, uh, very delicious uh, French. Uh, style yogurt jars. I buy the yogurt, save the jar, take the label off, and end up with nice little candle size jars. I told <clears throat> my daughter Laura about that, and she made me beautiful candles. Here, if you can see, she put she put cinnamon on top. And look how cute, adorable, mm. with buttons and bows. Look at this one. This one's adorable. Oh, she buttons. I love buttons. I'm not decorating mine, but I will decorate mine what after because I'm going to have to cure for a little bit. And then I'll decorate them and put pictures on our Instagram if you're interested. Here's one Laura made with a snowflake. 
Yeah. Which made them mm, mm, vanilla. Good enough to eat. It's but don't eat it. And another another one here. It looks like I don't know what she's got down there. Maybe some nutmeg or some other seasoning, some other magical ingredients. Another one with buttons and bows. Love them. Here's one um, I got as a gift from Laura, which was a painted, just a painted jar, hand painted to repurpose a, looks like maybe a salsa jar. Be creative, be inventive. What you don't want to do is ever put anything in plastic because you'll catch the house on fire, you'll catch yourself on fire, you'll catch the container on fire. Okay, so I have here a bunch of these and I've got one of these here, an old candle glass that I, I repurposed. I take the wax out, I reuse the wax for other things. Um, making fire starters because I burn wood. So I'm gonna start with putting uh, wicks in there. And here's some pre-made wicks and I got tabs, the sticky tabs instead of using hot glue. Wow. Much easier, yeah. And we're gonna center them. See that, there's, a, there's the wick already with the metal bottom. And then here are the tabs. So we're gonna take a tab off. We put it on the bottom, center it like that, take the paper off, and stick it in the jar right in the center. And of course, I didn't put it exactly in the center, yeah. but if you look at these jars, there's actually a circle. How hard could that be to center within the circle, right? Pay attention. And there you go, press it down. That way, when you're pouring the wax on, the wick won't be moving around so much. We also have, I believe, I have in my pile of stuff some things to hold the wick straight up. Or you can use a pencil, curl on a pencil, or you can use a clothespin. Works good. But we're just going to put that in. And then I'm going to heat these jars to 185 degrees because we want the glass to be warm when the wax goes in so it doesn't do anything funky. Okay. And we are going to make scented and colored candles because it's we're, we're working with a white, green, and red theme. Um, and um, you have to, but uh, there's a, we'll talk about whether to use uh, fragrance oil for candles or to use essential oil because there's a one is one is chemical has chemicals in it as binders for the for the scent the other one essential oil does not there's no carrier oils in there yet so uh, the other ones one you have to be very careful with the essential oils essential oils will cost more money but they are made from flowers and they're made from plants so that's a good thing. The fragrance oils do have chemicals in them. So if that's a problem with you, um, that you don't do that. Remember, you don't have to add anything. You Believe it or not, people burn candles that aren't scented. They've done it for generations. It doesn't have to be scented. I, I uh, tend to not be able to smell most of the candles, I, I think, when they're burning. I smell them more when they're not burning, um, when they're in their solid form. It's hard to get a candle to throw a lot of scent. You need the bigger, these are going to be, won't throw so much scent because they're smaller. The bigger the base, the top area of the candle, <clears throat> the more it will throw a scent for, like, if you're trying to, you know, <clears throat> have your house smell tremendous. Also, the heavier scents will smell better. Sort of the, whatever, the, 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 Pumpkin, the, the, um, um, oh, I don't know, uh, buh, 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 let's see, we're here, vanilla, yes, maybe, um, you know, some of the, the more floral scents, not as heavy, but the, like, the more like cypress, the, the sandalwoods, patchouli, those are heavier scents, and those are likely to, 
to smell, uh, give off a better fragrance. The woody scents, um, which are happen to be a favorite of mine, even when it comes to perfumes and stuff. And where, where I wear essential oils at time, if I'm not going to be around, some people don't like them at all. It's very, very, uh, you check that out, please. Very, um, but bothersome. Some people like just nothing stronger than maybe a cotton linen scent. Okay, so I put my candle wicks and my tabs in there. And then for this last guy, the bigger guy, I'm going to use a wood wick. And I like wood wicks because they give off a great crackle. All of these have to be trimmed afterwards when when everything is all set. So you take the wood wick and you take a little metal container, little metal, I don't know what you call this, a little metal stand, and you're gonna put the, uh, the wick. That seems awfully flimsy a wick to me. No, you don't think so? I don't feel like the wood wicks I've had but in the past. I think mm. I, I don't know. I don't always try all the products I mm. purchase. So, okay. uh, yeah, I'm going to double it up because that looks like pretty, who knows, that might not be the right thing to do. It looks like a pretty skimpy wick. And you put it in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's probably not going to work like that so well, two of them. Huh. Well, <laughs> that's going to, right? That's not going to work. But maybe we can figure a way to adhere them together. Okay, because I just don't trust that. Should I trust that? Trust it? That's the way they want us to. I'm thinking, I, I'm not a believer, folks. I think I we're... I don't think I would That's the thing with making candles. You want to try things out and see how they go. Um, it's a lot of trying if you're going to come up with a perfect formula. You should keep a notebook. Just like Laura says to keep a notebook with... Uh, with her knitting keep you know keep a journal going so you know what you did so when you get it perfect you know what to do next time okay so there we go can you take this tray in there and put it in the oven please let them warm yeah. up yep thank you okay one of the other things i wanted to say i don't know if you've been uh, watching the the other series that elisa has about sheep interesting um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. what is the, what is the holiday today? Um, uh, in bulk, in bulk, uh, is celebrated, uh, a lot in the, you know, Ireland, Scotland, um, Isle of Man, and it, it that commemorates the, the midpoint between <clears throat> the winter solstice and the spring equinox. So that means we're halfway there. That's why we're celebrating light. The days it's getting lighter. Got them in there? Yeah. Good job. Good. We stirring? No. I, uh, I think maybe we should add a little more. Sure. Okay. Um, should there be a timer? Should there be a timer? No, but it should keep at the right temperature. Especially if you... No. Oh, oh. no we're just warming those, those glass things up. Okay, so here, go stir some water in there. In there. Um, so one of the things it's, it's, it's associated with is with ewes going into the lambing season because it's two weeks, supposedly, this first is two weeks before sheep begin to give birth to their babies. Well, Elisa has a contest on hers because her, her, one of her sheep or all of her sheep are going to be be lambing soon and she has a guess the date and and I picked uh February 15th 16th because that's the full moon and uh um as a birthday and today's a new moon that's the full moon and interestingly enough it's like two weeks from from in bulk which would be when they start giving birth. So maybe that's an extra something. Maybe I'm on to it. Maybe I'm going to win. She's going to give away um, some sheep's milk 
salt that she makes. She makes all sorts of wonderful stuff with sheep's milk. So, um, okay, so here we go. We got we got that going. We got those things um, uh, warming up. We're going to do that. We're going to add our fragrance. I'm going to do one with essential oil, rosemary, because I want to make that green one, that big one green, with rosemary oil. And that has to be cooler. Let your wax cool down to about 130. If you put the essential oil in the 185, poof, it's going to burn off. You have no essential oil left. Okay, it's just, it's so fragile that it will burn right off that quick. It melted that quick. Unbelievable. This thing, the virgin, works. Not a virgin. Not a virgin anymore. We got some color chips here. Um, let's see, I want to do, I want some white, I want it to be like a, uh, here we go, warm vanilla sugar fragrance. Ooh. It's called Earth Glow. This is, um, fragrance so. So this is, may have some chemicals in it. This is, uh, for the red ones, cinnamon vanilla. Let me see, it's a fragrance. And they're going to use that. So we got cinnamon vanilla warm vanilla and rosemary those are the ones i'm going to use i'm going to try and use a red and green and then the natural color okay we're going to try they recommend we don't like this that you do not pour fill your candles directly under here that it's going to come out too forceful um so there is a lid for that to keep the temperature what temperature are we at anyhow let's see Oh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it looks like 150, 175, 185 exactly. That's the, that's what you want, okay? But you want to cool down some, but not too cold. If you don't, if you cool it too cold, when you start adding the fragrance, the fragrance oil, it won't disperse. So you need it warm. You don't want it too hot, you want it cooler for essential oil. Nothing under 140 for regular fragrance, okay? I have some other embellishments, rose petals, rose quartz. These are stones for decorative stuff. If you're going to use some stuff like that, you got to keep it away from the wick. Here's just some, some decorative stuff that I'll put on after, some ribbons. This, You see this? I probably took it off of a package or something, just pieces of stuff. And... Uh, there you have it. So let's see if we can't see what this looks like. I'm going to use the green the least. That's going to be one candle. And I'm going to weigh. I don't know if I should weigh it. Let me just pour this in first. You're here. Yeah, go ahead. Turn that on. Yeah. Should I see how much that holds first? The candle? Let me measure how much. Let me yeah. do a little. I should have did that before, I guess. cups okay so the other ones we're going to make one we're going to make a big stuff of the scented stuff and then we're going to measure the weight of one and then we're going to measure all the others to match we got a scale here but here we go <clears throat> fill, let's fill this let's push this back and fill this to one and a quarter right there Look at that. See how that's coming out? Can you see that? Can you? I don't know, maybe you can move the other way so I don't even see it coming out. Here we go. I hope you can see that. Um, where do I stop? Yeah, stop right there. Right there. Good. Now, yeah, go ahead. Push it all the way back. Here we go. 
take this. That was nothing. You could have filled a container. Yeah. Don't tell anybody that. Okay, we're going to need to uh, the temperature in there. We can put our color in. That one's going to be green. So let's, okay. let's throw a color chip in there. Yeah, then, yeah right? Cool. We're going to color this up. There you go. We no, use. Uh, what are we coloring uh, with? Um, what? Stirring? No, I meant what are they? Oh, uh, those are just they wet wax coloring things. They're right. cool. Yep. Yep, they come with wax candle making kits. You can buy them okay. separately. Uh -uh. So go ahead. You can do that. Mm -hmm. And when, if you're worried about using, oh, yeah, it's getting nice. That's nice and dark. If you're worried about using um, uh, glass, your kitchen glass, it cleans right up. It's going to be all gone. It's easy to get the wax off and there'll be nothing left. And there you go. Okay. Nice, and I hope it stays dark. I have a fun, usually the colors lighten up. I have a funny feeling they will when they start to cool. Okay. There we go. Now let's, we want to check the temperature to when it goes down just a little to put our fragrance, but not too much. We're already down. <clears throat> yeah. I can say you can absolutely add it now, and we're going to add get a little bit cooler, because this is going to be the essential oil. So it's one, 140 now. That's how quickly it, it cools off. So I'm going to, I'm going to add in um a cap full then another cap rosemary for remembrance love it okay and then you got to stir that for 30 seconds okay just count quietly to yourself <coughs> get ready and we'll get one for white and we're just gonna for red we'll do the red one in here because we want to see the color and we just fill this up about halfway let's get ready to put another yeah oops yeah let's put we're only gonna do three so they're probably eight ounces. Uh, so a pint, pint and a half. Eight ounces in a cup, two cups, two and a half cups we're gonna do up here, okay? So turn it on till we get up to here. We're gonna do that one red. Okay, oh, it comes out nice and yeah. not gushing out. We add... Yeah, keep going. <laughs> um, no, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, we got more in there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna add another bag in. And 
Here we go. Now, grab Oh, another spoon. Yeah, this is that there. And another spoon. Stirring the bread, and we're gonna make that. Um, Strawberry, a strawberry. We're not, we could make a strawberry. Strawberry wouldn't make sense. Cinnamon vanilla. Cinnamon is still associated with this holiday. Well, cinnamon and rose are scents of love. If you want to make this in for the upcoming Valentine's Day, just move these out of the way. I only have these here to show you. And. Ooh. Make some room because I want you to be able to see me filling some of these, some of these things. And these are plenty cool enough. That's down to 130. Cool enough to be. I'm gonna just put this in here so it doesn't drip. And you dip. Yeah, and we're gonna take um actually just we're going to do this, one of these, one of those, and I do need to have a thing ready. Where are my, where are my, to hold them up? I thought I had the clips to hold them up. Great. I don't have any clips. We're going to have to use, oh, these. We have more of these. These work. And I'm not my favorite kind, but here we go. So we're going to put this in. I thought I do have the metal clips somewhere. But this is make your own. Uh, to keep the wick straight. Okay? Yeah, right. Save those popsicle sticks, people. Oh, yeah. 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 And then we're going to pour this in. One green one. Just about to the top. And we see with the with that and this, how much does this weigh? I didn't even have to tear it. I'm just putting it with a wick and the wax. And okay. <sighs> And I don't know, because now I'm thinking, every time I do it, it's minusing it to zero. How do you weigh it? Oh, if it huh? goes to zero, maybe it up. Put it down there. We go pick it up. It says 7.940, if that's the right thing. I don't know. Now it looks like a, looks like we got to learn something about our new scale we got, too. The virgin scale. We don't know. I don't know about that. You know why? Because usually... When we're making them, we're just making them for it looks good enough because we're that's good enough. There you go. So there's one. Wait, you don't actually need. No. No. Now let's put let's put the stir in the cinnamon vanilla. There you go. Stir away, and they usually say one one ounce to one pound of or. Oh, here we go. Turn that up. Mmm, delicious. Oh my God, that smells so good. What do you think? Good. That's good, right? Yeah. Okay, so we pop these on. It smells like some type of baked good. But yeah, it smells, yeah, like uh, like cinnamon buns on Christmas yeah. morning, right? Okay. Smells delicious. Yeah, so do that, and that, and we're going to do three of these, and three of these, I wish I knew where my things were, my metal ones, clamps, 
They're in my craft room, still waiting. You know what, also, just so you know, February 1st, February 2nd, marks the uh, beginning of spring cleaning. So if you start your spring cleaning now, you'll be all set for Easter. Okay, so you're gonna do your own purification. So I'm just gonna, because I don't know how to measure these, um, I'm just gonna eye them up. Tie them up. And then when they get a little warp, uh, start to firm up some, then I'm gonna add some rose petals to them. And I'm gonna add part of my back, and I'm gonna add the rose quartz. There we go. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Can you see that? There, it looks pretty good. Beautiful. When they start, they get, they'll get like, they're like waiting for jello to firm up. Okay. Now, lest we forget, I was going to try and make this guy. If he doesn't have, if I don't have enough, I'm going to layer him. But we're going to put that in on that wick that I do not trust. And we're put that there. That would be. Yeah. Yeah. And then in a little bit, we're going to try and put that on there. That red on top. Okay. We're going to make a double layer one. Here we go. And for the final one, we got another container just clear. There we go. And go ahead, fill her up. I don't know why that's tight. It's best to do this off the edge of something where it'll all come out. There we go. This is beautiful, tremendous. You know, to check the, so they got to have a lot of thermometers because they don't have to worry about contaminating the wax. Here we go. Let's get a read. If you're making, if you're making bulk, oh, is that out? Yeah. I mean. There we go. We're going to use every last drop of this, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. If you're going to make lots and lots, hundreds and whatever, you want to have all your measurements down pat. You want to figure out what you're doing. Um, and we're using warm vanilla sugar in this one. Figure out what you're doing ahead of time to make mass amounts. This is you can't go wrong when you're making for yourself. You're just, you're just doing it. Wait, mom, the clear one with her out white. White, yep, oh. yep. It's gonna look like vanilla, oh, okay. like a whitish color. Okay. Yep. Yep, that'll be white. Cool. Yep. And the fragrances you can add at the higher temperature, but you've got to let it cool if you're doing. The essential oil. Let's see if do I have any more? Yeah, I got a couple more stabilizers. What do you, what do we call them? Stabilizers? I don't know. Wick holders, yeah. popsicle sticks, wow. tongue depressors, something like that. If you have access to tongue depressors, of providing they weren't on your tongue, you could use that. Here we go, and we're making our. Last candle moss candle, so we'll have three reds, three whites, and a green for the center uh, to celebrate the holiday. Burning them, we're basically making them. I have other candles that I will burn, but uh, we have other lots of lots of chores we still have to do tonight on this sacred holiday. Yeah. We're not done with our work, are we? Mondo and I never stop. We've got to go, go, go. And then we, we do want to see if we can take the excess and layer that candle. That would be really yeah. fun and cool. Right? And we will we, we'll use the clear one. Where's the... What? Where's the... Do I have a clean... 
Third one. I know where I, where did I just put the bag? Of all of them. The, no. Mm, I don't want to use this because I don't want it to pour off the map up. I guess I can. It's only for us. I know I have more. I set it down somewhere. That's how I treat you guys. Anyhow, I hope you're enduring the winter. I hope everyone's healthy out there. I hope we're halfway through. We're almost there, people. There we go. We're coming around the bed. It'll be spring in no time. That one's a little crooked, I yeah. think, right? Yeah, huh? He just needs to straighten his act up. I don't know. <laughs> right? And hope you're having fun, enjoying all the videos. If you got anything you'd like to see us do, I know I have a friend that asked me to do some rock wrapping. We are going to do some rock wrapping. I just, whoop, that one's what? a little deeper. Rock wrapping, yeah, it's going to be fun. I don't yeah. No, what? They're beautiful. They look very Native American. Nice, nice treat. We're going to do that. We're going to do all sorts of things. So there's more cooking ones coming up. All sort of things. But thank you for joining us. I hope you um, make some candles. Have them on hand. Give them as gifts. Light them. Whatever you do, light them. And when you're all done and you can't get any more out, melt that out, pour it out, and reuse it again. Reduce, reuse, maybe recycle. And there we go. So we have... You won't be able to see that, but once again, if it does come out, the layered one, we'll have post a picture of that on Instagram too. So for now, you want to get ready to turn us off, say goodbye to our friends. Bye. Goodbye. If you do feel so inclined, it would be nice to have you on a regular. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications because we'd like to see you around and hear what you have to say, okay? Until the next time, my friends. Have a good one. Stay healthy.